Hey cryptic creatures, welcome back to the crypt. If you're new here, I invite you to stay for more goth, alternative, and generally spooky content. In today's video, we are doing a wig haul and review from Donna Love Hair. So let's get into the video. So before I got these four wigs from Donna Love Hair, I didn't really have a lot or any experience with wigs other than a few super cheap Halloween costume wigs, which are not really the same thing at all. All that said, wearing wigs does take some getting used to, I'd say. It takes practice to put them on right. It takes practice to feel confident wearing them. And the thing that I realized after getting these wigs is one, not all wigs are the same quality. And oh, my dog just wanted to say hi. Some are easier to pass off as real hair than others. And the second thing I finally realized about wearing wigs is why would I care if someone realized that I'm wearing a wig if I'm wearing a wig? I just realized that that was a weird insecurity I had when like, yeah, I am wearing a wig, so who cares who knows about it, you know what I mean? So for the four wigs, I spent a total of $239.95, which is a lot, which is why I never really bought wigs before. But even that said, these weren't even as expensive as they get. I'd say this is still on the somewhat cheaper side of wigs because they can be like $100 each or more, especially if you're getting natural hair wigs. Um, but I got all four synthetic wigs. So all that said, let's dive into the four different wigs. I'll do a review of each and then my final review on Donna Love hair as a whole. So first of all, when the wigs arrived, they came in this really scary package. This is how my wig package came wrapped. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little concerned. Why does it look like this? This is, <laughs> I've never seen any package look like this. Why? <laughs> it was just purely a package of duct tape and I was a little sketched out. I was like, what the hell did I buy? So it is <laughs> my dog. So it is Halloween Eve, and I'm opening this absolutely terrifying box. Um, let's see what's inside. Oh, so even though this outside is truly terrifying, there's something pretty in here. So I wasn't sure until this moment that this is what was in the package, but I was pretty sure because I didn't order anything else. But here we are. But I opened the package and realized that they very cleverly squashed two wigs into a box and squashed those two boxes together into one package. So it was actually very efficient. Two, two in one, that's what I thought. You get one wig cap package per wig, and each package comes with two wig caps. So in total, I got eight wig caps for four wigs. And just remember, there are two in here. The first time I put it on, I put both on my head at the same time, which made it a little more difficult to stretch over my head and made it really tight. So just remember to separate them before you put them on your head. They also sent some cute little complimentary chokers. I got two of these. They also sent me two of these huge lash packages. See, I got two. I haven't tried them yet, so I will try them and report back on those later. And of course, the famous brushes. I got two of these, I guess, because I got <laughs> four wigs. So I got two of these brushes. And I did use this brush to comb out my own wild back comb teased hair. You could watch that video here. Um, but yeah, this brush works pretty good. And I have used it to brush through the wigs. So that is everything that they sent me. Now let's get on to each individual wig review. Um, the first wig that I got was called 
natural black long straight middle part <laughs> lace wig. Very original name. Um, and I'll put the link to that specific wig in the description. So the first wig that I got was this super long, just kind of like basic long straight black hair wig. And I got this one specifically because I knew I was gonna be doing a toxic tears transformation, um, which you could watch here. You could even see off that it's kind of uneven at the top and it looks very synthetic. I mean, these are synthetic wigs. These are not real human hair wigs, but this particularly looks very synthetic and I think it's because it's flat and you can just see like all the bumps in the wig cap and in the wig itself. I have to find a way to take these bumps out to make it look more natural. Um, but overall, I would say that I felt very much like I was wearing a wig the first time I wore it, so I'll see if I could find a way to make it look more natural. Overall, I mean, this fulfilled the need that I had for it. I think I will continue to wear this wig in videos in the future, but it's not a wig that I would feel confident wearing in public because even though, like I said earlier, who cares who knows if I'm wearing a wig. I still want the wig to look good if I'm wearing it, if that makes any sense. And I don't really feel like this is completely up to par um, to the level that I would want it to look if I was wearing it out in public. So I would not wear this wig out in public as of now, but I will continue to wear it for videos. And I would give that a, you know, three out of five, four out of five stars. Um, mostly for the fact that I would not wear it in public and it needs some work to look more natural. This wig is called the New Lolita Half Black Half Red Synthetic Wefted Cap Wig. And I got this one for $48.99. So if you're looking for a wig relatively cheap, you can get this for $48.99 right now. I'm, I'm not sponsored by them, but I'm just saying. Yeah, it's, I'd say this is a nice wig. So I do think that's a great deal for this wig. I do recommend this one. The first time I put this on, I put it on just for a day of work, really. It was a day when I was gonna have back-to-back -back virtual meetings and I wasn't really feeling confident about the way that my hair was looking. So I decided to slap this wig on, see how it looked. And I got so many compliments on it. Every single meeting I was in, everybody was complimenting my hair. And no, nobody thought it was a wig. Everyone was like, oh my gosh, I love your hair. I love what you did to your hair. And I was like, it's actually a wig. <laughs> Granted, that's virtual. Um, but then when my boyfriend walked into the room, he was like, whoa, your hair, it looks real. Like he obviously knew it was a wig because he knew that I didn't just change my hair in the last like 10 minutes since the last time he saw me. But he said that he thought it looked real. So this wig particularly does look real. It does feel real. Um, and I would wear this wig out in public. So I give this wig a five out of five. Love this wig and I highly recommend it. The third wig I got is called Black Curly with Bangs <laughs> Long Wefted Cap Wig. Now the reason I got this one is because I've always been curious about Betty bangs, but I just never wanted to actually put them on myself um, because they're, you know, there's no one doing that once you do that to yourself. So I was like, well, let me find a wig so I can actually see that style on myself. So this is the third <laughs> wig. This is honestly my first time putting it on. I'm not really sure how I feel about this. Um, there's a couple of reasons. I don't know how much you can see, but first of all, the bangs are like completely uneven. Like there's parts that are longer and then there's these random strays that are really long and they're just getting in my face. So this wig definitely needs some extra care before I think it will look uh, presentable, but also it's extra shiny and I feel like the shinier the wig, the more synthetic that it looks. I mean, it is synthetic, so that's the thing. It is synthetic. These hairs just keep getting in my face and it's really annoying. It's extremely annoying. Oh my gosh, this is beyond annoying. And also, I guess I didn't really realize how short it was. I think they make it look slightly longer in the photo. Oh, they definitely. Now I'm looking at the photo and it, it definitely looks much longer in the photo than it does in real life. In the photo, it comes to, 
I think about this length, like shoulder length, and here it is like not even, barely touching the shoulders, but you'll see a side by side, I'll show you how it looks in the photo and how long it is, and then just how absolutely short it is here. Um, and the other thing is like, in order for it to actually look like true Betty Bangs, I would probably have to pull the wig up because I have, you know, some people have a large forehead. I actually have a fairly small forehead. <laughs> it's actually very small. So in order for these bangs to look like Betty Bangs, I would have to pull the wig back so far for them to be like the short, super short Betty Bangs. Um, I would have to pull it back so far. And I don't know if that's a bad thing, but that's just the way I would have to wear it and pin it down. But also, as you can see, they're extremely uneven. In the photo, it looks very even. So that's another discrepancy in the wig. Um, the photo comes across as like a very straight cut bang, and <laughs> clearly that is not the case. I mean, I feel like this is a whole other style of bang. Um, the kind of DIY <laughs> baby bang that has been a thing for the last couple of years, but that's not what I was going for. I was going for Betty Bang, and I did not get Betty Bang. I got DIY baby bangs, and um, I, I, I think I could fix it. I wouldn't say I hate it. I wouldn't say I hate it. I don't know what wig this is, but it doesn't feel like the one that I got, but I still feel like I'll be able to do something with it so not totally mad but it's just not what i was expecting i ended up giving this wig a two out of five stars because i am still gonna wear it but it's not at all what i was expecting and it really came with some issues and discrepancies on to the final wig <laughs> Um, um, and this wig was called the Dark Purple Wavy Waist Length Lace Front Synthetic Wig. I'm like, is this, is this waist length? Actually, it is. I think maybe if I brush it out more, no, yeah, this is very long, actually. <laughs> Honestly, this is just honest. I don't really know how to feel about this one. I think maybe if I pinned it back like this or something, I would like it a bit more. I feel like even the black wig had a better hairline than this one. Like, maybe maybe I'm just being too critical because like I know I know it's a wig. So again, I'm doing that whole thing where like I know it's a wig. So kind of like any other sort of like makeup or lashes, when you see it on other people, it typically doesn't like stand out to you as much. But when it's on you, you're just kind of hyper aware of the fact that it's not natural and like afraid of the ways that other people might see that it's not natural. So maybe that's what's going on here. I think just in general, the long wigs when they're straight at the top like this, um, that's where the synthetic part really tends to stand out. It's the same with this wig and the black wig. But I feel like if I were to put it back like this, that would actually help it look a little less obvious, maybe. Um, yeah, I think putting it like that would make a lot of sense. I'm separating this huge chunk of hair. This is like all of the hair that I have on my entire head. <laughs> um, naturally, this amount of hair, and this is just like one small section of the wig. So there's a lot to work with. For that reason, I think I would give this a... Yeah, the more that I'm kind of working with it, the more that I like it. So for that reason, I would give this a 4 out of 5, actually. Uh, no, maybe even a 5 out of 5. Maybe a 4.5 <laughs> out of 5. The more that I'm kind of playing with this wig, the more that I'm actually liking it. Overall, yeah, I guess I give this like a 4 out of 5. So to rank the wigs in order of how much I like them and how comfortable and confident I feel in them, it would have to go the split dye red and black wig is number one. This wig I think is actually number two. The long black wig would be number three and the Betty Bangs wig would be number four. Um, would I get more wigs from Donna Love Hair? Yes, I would. 
guess I would. Um, but I definitely want to continue to try different styles. I eventually want to try a real human hair wig. Um, and I want to try wigs from other places. So if you have suggestions, please let me know in the comments below where you get your wigs, how you style them, how do you make them look natural. I mean, obviously I'm going to be looking up videos on these things as well. But if you have tips, I would love to hear them. Let me know which wig you like best and if you would wear any of these wigs in the comments below. So that's the review of all four wigs that I got. Would you wear any of these wigs? Have you gotten a wig from Donna Love Hair? Or is there a place that you prefer to get your wigs from? Please let me know because I'm new to wearing wigs and I'd love to explore wigs of all types in the future. If you enjoyed this video, remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.